Hi there, welcome back. My name is John Cohen, photographer from Toronto, Canada. If you've watched part one of this video, then you know how we got to this HDR image. If you didn't watch part one, well, go back and watch it and see how we made this HDR. But now we're going to make this HDR pop a little bit more. I like using the Nick Color Effects Pro to add some tonal contrast. And we're going to go ahead and pop that in right now. And so here we are. As you can see, the before and after, the contrast that's been added, um, perhaps a little bit much. We're going to bring down that saturation and the shadows just a bit. And we're going to get rid of that. So, and we're going to just selectively go ahead and paint that in. Just a little bit more contrast. And let's brush that in by hand. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit the paint button and we're going to go ahead and paint in where we want the contrast to show. So let's see what we got here. So let's paint in over here some contrast and paint into there some contrast and paint into there. As you can see, you know, each image is going to be a little different of where contrast is needed. Um, we're just going to add some here, some there. little bit into that sky. We don't want to overdo it. Just a bit. Make it stand out. The building. Trees are always a good one. And so there you go. You can see really quickly. So before, after, before, after. In fact, I'll probably add a little more over there. Very simple. And we hit apply. And bam, that's done. We just added a great option. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a border into this. I have a preset made for a half inch border. From here, we're going to go ahead and run Silver Effects Pro 2, which is Nick's newest software at this time of this video. God knows you could be watching this in a year from now and Silver Effects 3 might be out. We're not really caring about black and white for this image, even though it does really stand out beautifully. All we're going to do is go ahead and talk about image border. So in this image, we're going to go ahead and place a quick border into the image. Um, we can just pick something that really looks appropriate for the image. So perhaps uh, I like type one. Let's do type one and let's bring it so it's a little tighter and we can vary the border with the software. So it's a little rougher and really quickly. That's that's all we're doing. We're really just going to Go ahead and bring that back into Photoshop. And all we're doing now, last thing is just gonna go ahead and change the luminosity so it pops right through. And there we go. So we started off with, uh, with an image that was a little flat. We added a border and some contrast and some texture and bang, we're done. Go ahead, we can save that back. And uh, and really that's all that we're going to do to make this image stand out a little bit more and uh, make it look better than it was when it started. Thanks for watching. Quick demo. How to uh, add a little more pop and pizzazz into your HDR images. Again, my name is John Cohen, photographer from Toronto, Canada. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter. Or if you have any questions, feel free to email. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.